I knew it would all work out. What do you mean? Seeing Keto without an appointment. That video has some serious power. You can thank Sari san for that. Hi, Keto. Afternoon. Sorry to barge in. We know you're. Oh, busy. we're not sorry, though. Take a seat. Well, let's get straight to the point. We'd like to call you to the stand as a witness in Ayabe's trial. That's not possible. Witness. Would this change your mind? Uh, you've made me a very happy man today. But we had some real fun now that the interview's out of the way. Mm -hmm. My little minx. <laughs> they really love this sentence. Wait, really? I mean, how long do you Can think this will do something against him? My testimony won't change that. You're up against everyone who stands to gain from 89, including patients who it would save and their families. You can't win. Not how things stand. No, but that's exactly why we need your testimony. It was at least no four times. To help you. They are a if big fan of it. If you truly want to release the video, release it. You are aware of the consequences that would have, right? I'll become the laughing stock of the scientific world. My career will be over. <laughs> Not often enough. Are you sure? Not often enough? I'm not ready to die just yet. You don't have anyone to rely on? How can we get you to go? Have you talked to Ichinose at Did all? Did you talk to Ichinose after Kuroi will rescue you from the arcade? I have nothing to say about that. Now leave me alone. Are you really that scared of him? Of course. Losing my job is a much more appealing proposal than losing my life. Nobody's dying if we can help it. We can protect you. Yeah, like, um, let us check your track no record of say, you not letting people die around you. If I open my it mouth, doesn't look that good. I'll have to live the rest of my life in fear. Until the day they finally finish the job. How can we change your mind? You're in the middle of this whole 89 mess. But you never actually killed anyone yourself. You might be able to argue for a lot of I assume sentence. a minx is some Absolutely type of animal? Not. You can't convince me to sign my own death warrant. <sighs> Damn it. We're not getting anywhere. You shouldn't fight a battle you can't win. I would never have gotten where I am today without that bit of advice. Oh, so it's not an animal. <laughs> Do you even have a shred of evidence? Oh, well, I suppose you did. But Ichinose-san took it right out of your hands. Can't you see how weak you are compared to him? You don't have a chance in hell of winning this case. Well, you're right. <laughs> For now, I guess. It's easy to tell how the case will go. We just don't have quite enough evidence yet. There's no way we'll take down Ichinose with what we've got at the moment. I appreciate the advice. Not yet, Yagami-san. He's trying to take us for fools. I can make him talk for sure. All we have to do is push the video to- We'd be wasting our time. Yeah, we would. You can't say that if you don't try. Come on, Yagami-san. You can only do so much. It. If he's more Please, afraid of the other part. If the video doesn't work, then we'll find some other way to... There's no point. No point? That's enough of the tough detective act. You can't run. Hoshino. <sighs> I never said anything about running away. Okay? Oh. But I just... I don't want to lose. I thought I could help you. <laughs> Having a falling out, are we? Shut up! <laughs> so someone's being very emotional. Uh, 
Once I have my proof, I'll be back. <laughs> and when you do, I will gladly cooperate. Not that I'm expecting much. Okay, where are we going, Max? Return to my agency. How much? Oops, wait, wrong one. Oh, we're getting closer to the health bar thingy. We are getting closer to that one. That's nice. Hey, man. Oh. How's the prep going for Aya Base trial? Oh. Not bad. I've gone everywhere I wanted to go, at least. So, you ready to do this then? There's no going back after Oh, this. is it the last part oh, of the game now? You put it like that. Warning. Things are going to get pretty intense from here on. So if there's anything you want to do, now is the time. It might be a good idea to save your game too. Just in, just in case. If the game tells you, save! <laughs> Shit's gonna go down, huh? This is almost the end of the story. So settle in for a climactic finale. It could take a while, so if you need sleep... <laughs> so if you need sleep... Continue at your own discretion. Why is why is the game calling me out so much? I don't need no sleep. I need to know how the story ends. You can save along the way, but once you start, you can't go back. So consider making a separate save. So you save. ready to get this rolling? Okay, let me uh, let me make a save a file. Few. After the game Are called me out, let me make hey, a save file. I'll be here. Okay, I, f I feel so called out. So called out. Okay, let's go. So, Gira, I'm How ready. Yeah, I know. You don't have to call me out again. Yeah. Let's go. Good to go. Gotcha. By the way, uh, I just got a call from Hoshino-kun. Sounded gloomy as hell. Apparently, I he don't wants need you to sleep. talk to Genda-sensei over at the office when you get a minute. Oh? He didn't say what about, though. Anyway... Just yeah, but they technically are hitting me harder, so more HP sounds better. Well, Shino Kun said you should go talk to Genda. Oh. I mean, I think every game should tell their player when the point of no return starts, you know. I think that is like a basic thing a game should tell the player, like. Listen up, if you want to do some side questing or something like that, maybe do it now. But we don't care about the side questing anymore. I want to know how this concludes. Let's get to Genda Sensei. To be fair, a few GRPGs are doing it. Oh god. Can you? Why are you not hitting it? I just want to get to Gendo Sensei, please leave me alone. Do I need to do a run around the circle here? Please stop following me. I'm not here. Please leave me alone. Thank you. The thing is, they're just not giving me enough SP that it's worth my troubles, you know? So. Really? You're still here? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take care of you, it's okay. what I wanted.
Put that bicycle down, honey. I just wanted to grab that. Oh. What, what did I throw at you? knocked out you don't have to die but yeah thank you look it's only giving me 90 SP that's not that's not even close to enough so oh maybe I should let me buy a few more things I don't know when's the last possibility of me buying shit so. these actively give me a lot of HP back so I think that should be enough. So, Gendo Sensei. Gendo Sensei! Yo. Hmm? You get called in too? Yep. Just walked in. Is Hoshino kun not back yet? Not yet, no. Is something the matter? No, not really. Uh, we had a little really fallout happened. right in front of the dude. We wanted to proceed to, like, you Something know, you come to, to trial with us. Sensei? No, not me. Him. Him? Izumira? Izumira! The prosecutor Izumira. They've got men monitoring every nook and cranny of your agency. Figured it'd be safer to talk here. Izumira came all the way out to Genda's office just to talk. Then That must mean... More bad news? Is that how you treat a guest? <laughs> and no, it's good news. Guess it can't be all bad. Ichinose will testify at the trial. Oh. So, you convinced him, huh? Run into any trouble? No, it went fairly smoothly. This is going way too fast and way too easy. So, you want me to explain 89? Yes, at the upcoming trial. And by that, you mean the one for the murdered lawyer? That's right. Before his death, that lawyer made a phone call to Dr. Shono. Of course, we have no reason to believe that call had anything to do with the killing. Dr. Shono in 89? Involved in a murder? <laughs> it's quite far-fetched, if you ask me. A preposterous notion. <laughs> Indeed. Preposterous. However, that doesn't change the fact that the call was made. And so we'll need to explain in court just why it can't be related. Hmm. Ah. Don't worry. You won't need to say a word about the call itself. Just explain the situation. 89 is a drug of global importance, and Dr. Shono and his team have put immense effort into its development. Once you've explained, I'm sure it'll clear the air. Yes, I see. I'm not sure I can portray it accurately, though. I'm not a scientist, after all. If you would be more comfortable, we could always call Dr. Shono to the stand. But his language may in fact be too complicated. I'm not sure our jurors would understand. If possible, I'd prefer it were you up there, Ichinose-san. You have a point. It would be foolish to take up Dr. Shono's time with such an insignificant matter. Very well, I'll do it. Contact the Ministry of Health when the trial date is decided. Thank you very much, sir. If you'll excuse me, I have another meeting to get to. This feels way too easy. Nice going. You made it sound like if Ichinose didn't testify, Shona would. It worked. Ichinose didn't want to risk Shono getting in there and slipping up. Can't trust anyone to do it but himself. Dude, the boss is on the hook. Now the fight be now the fight begins. Good work, Izumira. Turns out you can be pretty devious when you want to be. Devious? Really? I'm kidding. Really, I can't thank you enough. We'll have Ichinose out in the open thanks to you. All we have to do now is find a way to corner him. 
What about Hamura from the Matsugane family? Can we ask him to testify? Mm, he's still on the run. Guy couldn't even be bothered to come to his patriarch's funeral. Of course not. How could he after what he did? Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we just grab Kuroiwa and get him to confess to being the mole? And and how are you gonna do that? He gave you last time, right? I let my guard down. That's oh. all. Oh, cut it out, you two. Come on, guys. We've got Ichinose right where we want him. We just need to figure out what to do next. We're not gonna win empty-handed, you know. It's Mafuyu. What's up? Ayabe's casino is getting raided by the police. Lamont? Now? Why? Yeah. They just started. Morita is setting the wheels in motion. They've already arrested most of the employees. I get it. It's a character assassination. A crooked cop running an illegal casino. No surprise if he commits a murder, too. The chief prosecutor is hitting us where it hurts. Right. Guess they're not gonna go down before the fight. Just wanted Duh. to give you a heads up. So, how's it looking, Yagami-kun? Do you think you can win? I'll do the best I can. The good news is, I have a lot of help. Thanks for the call, Mafuyu. Of course. See you. Morita's here in Kamurocho, blowing the lid off Ayabe's casino. In that case, I'd better get going. <laughs> He's not gonna come here. Well, better safe than sorry. Huh. Bye bye. If they're raiding the casino, Kuroi was probably there too. What do you want to do, Tuck? The chief prosecutor's made his move. Let's meet uh, ours. It wouldn't hurt to stop by and say hello. We know all about him now. You sure this is a good idea? No, it's not. Not the kind of guy you mess around with. Don't worry. We just want to check in. What do you mean, check in? Let's hit it. Okay, let's go. Where exactly is it? Oh, it's right around the corner. Right around the corner. Oh yeah, it was a fishing shop. Okay, thanks so much for dropping by, Andy. Have a good night and a good start into the week. Hello, sir. I'm Ayabe's lawyer. Let me through. Sorry, no lawyers allowed yet. Well done, but let him pass. I'll vouch for him personally. Chief Prosecutor? Thanks. I, and Cardo is just coming with. Sure. Were you aware there was an underground casino hidden down here, Yagami san? What? I had no idea. No. <laughs> Our friend Ayabe was really something, wasn't he? Who would have thought he'd take bribes from an illicit underground casino? Not to mention selling confidential police intel to the criminal underbelly of this town. What? Shintani Sensei surely stumbled upon Ayabe's secret. And so Ayabe killed him to make sure the truth stayed hidden. Mm. Quickly, with a police-issued handgun. Sure. I see. That's the story the prosecution is telling, huh? We can speak further once we get inside. It doesn't feel like a trap at all. I've learned a lot about you, Chief Prosecutor. About the tragedy in your family ten years ago. Then someone has betrayed me? Someone you betrayed. Someone who trusted you for years. I have to say... 
It was strange seeing how you behaved in Schoner's lab. A public prosecutor, the so-called Defenders of Justice, chose to protect 89 over the sanctity of the law. I think it's time you drop the act. My mother, she was afflicted with early onset Alzheimer's. The disease progressed quickly. Aww. So this is more just family. Not long after she started showing symptoms, she couldn't even recognize my face. Whenever I went to visit her, I was greeted with, nice to meet you, as if she didn't know who I was. Occasionally she'd yell at me, accuse me of being a thief or a murderer. Watching my mother's mind deteriorate, well, it nearly broke me. And yet my brother continued caring for her. He was there when I couldn't be, all by himself. When we were young, he and I had both dreamt of becoming lawyers. He devoted himself to his studies far better than I ever did. Practically worked himself to the bone. Yet, ultimately, he never managed to pass the bar. I can only imagine how he felt when I passed on my first attempt. And yet, he was happy for me, almost as if my success was his. He was truly a good man. His confidence is wavering. This left a lot of scars. Please, go on. When we learned that my mother had Alzheimer's, my brother was devastated by the news. He took it hard. I, on the other hand, was filled with internal conflict. I was torn between caring for my ailing mother and continuing my burgeoning career as a lawyer. But my brother could sense how I felt. And then he said to me, Don't worry. Leave mom to me. Your success is all that matters. As long as you make it, my dream comes true too. And so, he continued caring for our mother for seven long years. 24 hours a day, a woman who couldn't even recognize him as her own son. Whereas I ran further and further away. But somewhere, deep down in my heart, I knew it couldn't continue that way. That someday he would break. And the regret you feel, that failure, is what led you to 89. When was it? After Shintani Sensei's murder. Not long after, Vice Minister Ichinose summoned me personally to fill me in on the details. He did? But why? Ichinose-san predicted that the prosecutor's office would discover the dark truth about 89 before long. And upon looking into some family histories, he discovered what happened to my mother. When he realized the extent of it, he knew I would be sympathetic to their cause. Mm. His proposal was quite clear. 89 was a groundbreaking new drug, meant to save countless suffering patients and families. But if it was to see the light of day, I would have to look the other way for a while. It's never good to like just sacrifice someone else for something greater but ah oh, this is a tough decision and that's how someone with the best intention gets a lot astray prosecutor morita have you heard this saying before hmm fire tempers iron and temptation steals the just if someone told you they knew how to make mankind immortal with the sacrifice of a few you would have looked the other way no matter how many people had to die. I do feel guilt. I can't deny that. That's the only reason I'm still here. Shono has killed people to cover this up. Emi Terasawa died for it. What about her? Did she deserve that? Meanwhile, Shinpei Okubo was falsely convicted and sentenced to death. He wakes up every day not knowing if it's his last. 
What did he do to deserve that? Your guilt is nothing more than an act. Do you even realize what it is you're doing? That's enough. How do you think your brother would feel if he saw what you were doing now? Huh? Tell me, Morita! Shut up! Just... Shut up! If you want me to shut up, you're gonna have to kill me. What? Where's that coming Morita. from? Okubo Kun and Ayabe are depending on me. Emi Terasawa deserves justice, too. And I'm not stopping until I get it. Hey, Tuck. Kuroi was here. I believe that's enough, Morita-san. Long time no see. Seems you're already back in action. <laughs> Guess I went too easy. You little... So, another two versus one fight? Is Yagami joining us? What are you doing here? I suggest you turn a blind eye to this. You're good at that, aren't you? Stay out of this? Like hell I will. You already had your turn. Why? Kuroiwa Why? killed Matsukane-san. And well, it's about time I pay him back for what he did. Yay. <laughs> Touching words, Yagami-san. And now is the time for action. And don't worry, I won't arrest you for obstruction on this. Don't talk to me about arrests. You're not even a cop. You're a goddamn assassin! Oh well. I have a question regarding the story though because they make it seem like hi Rusty because they make it seem like if they would arrest Shono because like his human experimentation and everything like I get it that is bad that is everything you shouldn't do and yada 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 but like his experimentation and like the drug the general drug is still there couldn't couldn't technically anyone else take it out take it and like work further on it wouldn't that be a possible because they make it seem like if shono isn't the one who's working on it nobody will and that confuses me a tiny bit i'll be honest It's not Yakuza, but it's in the universe of Yakuza. Or do I just have like, is this something like copyrighted or something that only the lead scientist, I mean, what if the scientist dies? Can nobody else work on it? Of course, but like, it's not like Shono wouldn't need the time as well to figure out how it's working, doesn't he? Like, you could arrest him and let just some other scientist work on it properly. Hmm, funding could be. Yeah, but like, 
don't all big things have like some side effects you have to work out on like the general idea i think is really good and it is working on mice apparently so they would like need some fine tuning oh god shit so they would need some fine tuning to make it work wouldn't they oh fuck me But isn't fine-tuning, like, always required? I need some healing. Like, this just seems like... It, it never occurred to me before. Like, this seems a bit like... You know? Very extreme. Ah. <sighs> something can we please drop the madam part it makes it so hard to read your guys messages oh, oh god i should have healed i was like i don't need healing i should have healed Yeah, sure, but like you can like make it further on like non-humans, you know? You don't need to test it on humans. Yeah, but like isn't it better to have something that takes like 10 years rather and then can help a lot of people rather than just like stop doing... Because apparently the, the main idea does work. It needs like some more funding and some more fine tuning and everything, you know? That's the thing I'm a bit confused about. So this time I'm gonna also s heal if I see that I need to heal. Yeah, but like, you can still technically test it further. Like, technically. You don't have to practically test it. See what went wrong there and test it practic uh, te technically further, you know? I love how Kaido is just standing there in the corner. Oh, did you have formal lessons? What did you study, Kai? I mean, it makes complete sense that it takes so long. Did I mess up? Oh no. Okay, it's we're back here. It was. I give me a second. I'm gonna read chat in a second. But I know that there is a QDI coming up. So give me a minute. Let's not get fucking hit by him. Slam him in the door. On the ground. I, of course, at one point you have to start with humans, sure. But when we obviously know that humans are not doing much for us at this very moment. Why do it at this moment already, you know? Ow, ow. Okay, this is a try. I feel like... The fight scenes are so amazing. There we go. Easy. Easy, I just need to concentrate a bit. 